Welcome everybody to another video of Nimbadus, the space drone constructor. And yes, I scrapped the video, so you're going to see my autonomous drone right now. And yes, well, I'll explain it a little bit. Uh, of course, satellite, then a NOT gate and a uh, OR gate. That's for if the sensor is active, it says W, which means the land is close, the train is close to me. So then these go. And like two of them are always on, I think, maybe. Uh, what was the thing about that? Or they were for turning, something like that. Yeah. The ones on the far side just. The, out the most, those are for turning, these are always on if the terrain is close, and this one is also on that, and these say like S, and when S is pressed, uh, what was the thing, oh yeah, if S and W, or or W is pressed, press G, and if G is pressed, don't press F, and F is the this one, and then there was something like, oh, if this one wasn't pressed, and this one isn't pressed, then you have to press F, because that says this, and then it makes the craft go down. Then, of course, stabilization, and this is just a quick craft, which is on spacebar, which is from the satellite. Satellite, and then the giga drill, just for digging through the terrain, and this is for destroying the mother hive. And well, I'll show you how it works right now, or at least I'll show it in action. Alright, well there it goes. For some reason the shield bubble on the little digging drone isn't like in the center, I don't know why it isn't. But this is the only thing it kinda has problems, problems with those very steep hills. It's something even I myself have problems with sometimes. So yeah, well, I have not had any problems with it yet. Even just, well, this is something it will recover from. I do not like using this drone because of the fact that it is, it's creating a lot of lag and that's why the train doesn't always uh, spawn in. And, oh wow, well, only destroy transmitter. Well then, where is that stupid transmitter? This might be a problem actually, but I think it will just cut through or something. Ooh, this is something I didn't really, well, it looks like it's going up. It was not on purpose, but apparently it always likes to go up. And there is the transmitter. And, yes, okay, right. We did destroy it, and now let's go back to Nimbaris. It is also able to handle those bomb dudes and the mother hive because of the little thing. This is a sumo arena, I don't feel like it. And well, let's edit this drone, and this is my saddle, wait, I should not forget that, just like this. Alright, I have a little bit of an idea on like an autonomous weapon spinning around, like automatically homing into the enemy, and uh, I have two possibilities, one which is for a sniper turret, and one which is for a shotgun. Um, the difference between the sniper turret and the shotgun turret is of course its accuracy. And that's also what I did with the turret. I will build the sniper one first. So then I will be using a motorized hinge. Which is the difference between the sniper turret and the shotgun. Because for the shotgun I will use thrusters. 
and for the sniper turret I will use the motorized hinge. And now I'll speed this up and just, yeah, well, I'll see you when I finish this build. I just tested it. Oh, that's why. Oops. One isn't under the view. Right, I just tested it out for the first time ever. Because, and look, works. Uh, of course, it doesn't want to work right now, but look. There it goes. And why didn't you just shoot? Right now you do. Right, so that's uh, something you should prove on. Like, if the enemy is moving, it doesn't really want to go. Yeah, well, uh, so that's the problem, I guess. I could change that just by pasting the gun. And, like, uh, having the gun go out in the arc. Slightly like one here, yeah, right. And it, I don't think I will use the sniper turrets for this particular job. I think I will use the three inch and then a, a shotgun tower. That's what I think I'll do. Right, so that's... Uh, I'll put you on G. Could have them all on the same thing that it always shoots all of the guns, but I don't want to do that right now. And yes, I know I could use a logic splitter for that, just so it only affects its own gun and I can copy-paste it. But, well, then I would also have to put the nut gauge and all on the thing. Then I will have like the same thing as I said. I hope I said. Uh, this time around will be for the G, and this will be on like you know should have it on Q uh, on T for some reason. Um, you go there. I should have you like forward a little bit, and I'll copy paste you here. Then on Y, don't even think I need. Yeah, kind of do. Um, because if oh yeah, that's the thing. Uh, and an an if gate. I know it's not necessary. May, or at least maybe it's not necessary. So if I think I had it on like B, so then like Y, right? So wait, no, because then it's uh, yeah, no, it's exactly the thing I want. Apart from that, of course, because then it like wiggles around a bit. Okay, so it's actually the thing that was holding me back. So like this, it shouldn't, and then it does this, that's why I wanted, like, for a shotgun. Because then, of course, would work better. That's not accurate at all. So then it would be like this. Right, oh, okay, so maybe using a variable, variable cluster would be better. 
because this just goes too fast or I could add some more weight for instance by using some blocks but I guess I'll try to use the variable clusters for once wait what did I not change ah oh, wait a second I didn't change you to a specific key yet I'm an idiot you can scream at me if you want to I might be a bit too fast now. Alright, so I think by having it faster, it's actually better because then I will try. So you are on E, you are on Y. If you look at how fast it's speeding, it's still killing the enemy because it is something uh but are affected by the speed the thing is going. So yeah, this is perfect. I mean, that might also make this viable for a sniper turret, which is something I do not know. Uh, so I don't want you. I want you. And I want you to be on G, and I want you to be on like L, and you on L, well. Alright, shoot. Don't shoot me. Alright, I don't, well, like O and B. E. Test. Oh, of course, because I changed them both to the same E. Stupid. Right, so now if I press G, alright, you shoot, the other one does. Alright, so you do actually hit the enemy. The only thing is, right, so it works. Honestly, it does work. And it's pretty small. And I should just have you like on F. I should have you on as well then. Alright, well, here is a clip when it's in action. But well done that you made it this far into the video. That means you liked this video. So don't forget to leave a like and possibly even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. But that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.